What's up everybody, Kier Gomes here, and welcome to Way Back Wednesday, episode four. Way Back Wednesday is a series dedicated to playing cards that were printed in 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016, anything that came out years ago, you may have missed out on if you're new to the card collecting, magic, or cardistry scene. In today's episode, we are gonna be covering one of my favorite decks of cards, and that is the Hand Shield playing cards by the USPCC and Anthony Chen Hutt. But today you're in for a treat because I'm also gonna be reviewing the Hand Shields Jeans Edition, also by USPCC and Anthony Chen Hutt. So we're gonna be taking a look at the V1 and V2 Hand Shields playing cards today, and I cannot wait because these are some of my favorite decks. Before we get started, please do drop a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's roll that intro and get you guys on your way. got the Hand Shields Modern Edition. One of only 2,500 in existence, but it is one of my favorite decks of cards, and hopefully after I review it, you'll understand why. The entire tuck case is done in this kind of cream color, uh, very off-white, which I like. On the front it says Hand Shields, they're in cursive. Inside the blue bar at the top, there's a cursive H, and then at the bottom it says Modern Edition. You can also see that there is this maroon accent kind of bordering the front of the tuck, and then it has these five cardistry packets uh, in maroon. Pretty sweet. One side has these maroon uh, arrows, and the other side has the same thing, but in blue. The bottom has some ad copy about the deck. The back design is sort of the back design of the cards, and I'll show you what I mean in one sec. Inside the tuck flap, there is an H. Mm. This is what the back design looks like. So you get a nice thin white border, and then outlining that are these very, very thin maroon lines. Just to add a nice contrast, it really makes that cream color pop. You see in the middle, it is two capital H's written in cursive and then those cardistry packets once again. Simple, very minimalistic back design. I absolutely love it. Nice and simple for the Ace of Spades. You just get a semi-enlarged spade pip with a cursive H in the middle. You're only gonna get one Joker with this deck, but that's because you get three gaff cards. So your Joker looks like this. It's just got the cardistry packets in the corner. It says Joker, hand shields, all that stuff. Nice and simple, again, kind of looks like it just came out of a casino. Now the gaff cards that you're gonna get are a double backer, of course, always a win, a blank card that you can use for magic tricks, and you're gonna get a queen of spades double backer. Definitely a few tricks you can use that for. For the most part, the rest of your faces are gonna be completely standard, but with a few modifications. Your hearts and diamonds are still gonna be that same bright red color, so uh, haven't been swapped out for maroon or anything like that. They're still that same red color. Spades and clubs are still black, same pips and indices as you would find on a bicycle deck. But your court cards have been customized, so you can see they've been simplified down quite a bit, and the colors have been swapped out for maroon and navy and cream, as opposed to the standard bright red, bright blue, and yellow. And this is what the hearts look like really emphasizing that cream color, and I like that. Jack of spades, king of diamonds, queen of diamonds. All right, now before we talk about the handling of this deck, let's take a look at the jeans edition. All right, so the Hand Shields jeans edition uh, basically has the exact same design, only the box is completely white, and the blue has been brightened up to look more denim. It does have that same H at the top, and then here it says Jeans Edition instead of Modern Edition. And your cardistry packets have been swapped out for uh, faded blue. Still getting those arrows on the sides. Add copy, present and accounted for. The back design though, instead of having the back design of the cards, just has that capital H, and then you'll notice the inside tongue flap is blue, like jeans. So this deck is definitely different from the Modern Edition, it doesn't have the same design, so it's not just a color swap or anything like that. You can see it actually is just a denim print with a even thinner border and then has the cardistry packets tucked into those dark blue corners there, like that. It, this one actually is a one-way back design. So if you hold it like this, you can see the darker denim color is uh, over here. And then if I turn it, it's now over here. Okay, your Ace of Spades looks pretty much the same as it did before on the other edition. Uh, it's just got some blue incorporated into it. I really, really like that. In a way, I guess you do kind of get two jokers with this deck. 
You get the same Joker that comes with the Modern Edition, but updated to match the theme of the deck. And you just get this one that says Jeans on it in that hand shield font. So you can count that as, as two Jokers. In terms of gaff cards, you are gonna get a duplicate Ace of Spades. So that's always very helpful. And then you're also gonna get a duplicate Seven of Spades. However, you're gonna get it with a red kind of maroon back design. So you can use that for the Chicago opener, uh, which I taught on this channel a few weeks back. So just as with the other one, the rest of your cards are pretty much standard, but with some court customization. Again, simplified down uh, the design and then as well swapped out these colors for just blue, red, and black. Just to give you an idea, here's what a few more of them are. That's the queen of spades, jack of spades, and there's your king of hearts. Now, both of these decks were printed by the USPCC and they were both printed on bicycle stock. So let's talk about the handling. So we're going to use the jeans edition for the handling. Basically, because they're printed on bicycle stock, you pretty much know what you're going to get. Uh, they feel really good. USPCC does a great job of printing cards. Very, very soft. This is what they look like in a fan, which I think looks really great. This is what they look like in a spread. And let's see how they faro. Looks like they definitely faro uh, best uh, top to bottom, which makes them a modern cut. Dribbles. And all your flourishing needs. Overall, I really love both of these decks of cards. I would highly recommend them if you don't own them. I believe that the modern edition hand shields are sold out pretty much everywhere, so you might wanna look at eBay to find these. The Jeans Edition, I believe, is still available on handshieldsplayingcards.com, so if, uh, if you're interested in picking this deck up, I will link below where you can find it. Well guys, I really hope you enjoyed this review, and I hope it was enough to compel you to subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, please do drop a like on the video, as it does help me out very much. And that was your episode four of Wayback Wednesday, your one-stop shop for all things playing cards, cardistry, and magic related. All that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. I know I will. <laughs> and I'll see you guys this weekend. Peace.